Probably should adjust the title. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Perfect. I think my bitrate actually works now that it's later at night. That'll be an interesting test, actually. Hmm. Yeah, we do this. Why not? Yeah, we got these public we got these weekly values. Let's see what else. <laughs> you know yo, know, what's up to Leah? I didn't know I was going live tonight either. What the frick? The, the crazier part is it's not even on Shadow Pog twelve right now. I figure I'd actually do it on my actual account because people always shoot want to shoot me the next morning when they don't realize I was live, so. Yo, what's up, Jesus? How's it going? There's only going to be like two people here right now because it's so late, but that's what we're here for, right? I need to go... let's see. I'll go here. It's 7 p.m. It isn't late. Look. You're living in the past, Talia, okay? For me, it is 3.38 a.m. And usually I stream around, um, I don't know, around, I start stream around 6 to 8 p.m. my time. So, it is a little on the late side. But, you know, you know me. All right, so what should I do with this? Let's do this. Hmm. Pretty sure very in the future. What day is it for you right now? Is it February? February what? And uh, not February. Um, fucking shit. January. Sh shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Alright, bye Jesus, I'll see you later. Anyways... Let's do this. It's Sunday? Oh my god. Is that Mr. Cut? No way, dude. You're here for the 4am Destiny 2 stream, dude? No skills here too? What the frick? It's Sunday? Wait, what day is it for me? It's Sunday for me as well. Wait, no, you're ahead of me, Talia. No, I think it's glitching. I think it's obviously Monday for me. It's 9 a.m., bro? No, it's not. Dude, no school's actually gonna be able to watch because it's not, like, a weird time for him for once. Yeah, I saw the, the Master King's Fall gameplay before Razor. I haven't even done Master King's Fall yet because I've been so inactive on the game. I need to do that at some point. Alright, what am I even doing right now? You can't really because you're in Poland right now? Why are you in Poland? Let us begin. It's 240 for you. Wait, what? Oh, I need to do Shadow Keep campaign to get the damn weekly bounties for this? Oh my god. Speak quickly. Oh my god, dude. This game sucks. We don't talk about this.
Because you're going to go skiing? Dude, let me know if you die. In a tragic skiing accident. Will do. Alright, thanks, dude. Hmm. I need to fix my Titan Drip, dude. It's so ugly. But that's why I made a female. But I, I just need to get better armor, too. Kinda mid, honestly. Hmm. Mm, I don't know. These look. This looks terrible. This looks absolutely terrible on female. Like my my arms look like actual twigs. We don't want to talk about how it's representative of my of me IRL though. That's that's in that's irrelevant. Okay. Let's go back to this for now. Hmm. We we'll throw this over here so I can level this up. Yeah, I need to level up these three weapons for, for reasons. Let me know if the, um, the stream dies at all, by the way. I think it should be fine, though. I, I think Zach might be right that it's just around a certain time that it, the bitrate just wants to kill itself. I think our server providers just dog shit. Do I not have my shoulder charge? What did I waste it on? Whatever. And I don't understand like any of these abilities, like all the sliding around, like I'm sliding so far right now. I haven't had time to go through all the the fragments and everything. everything dude what the frick neon boy that's uncalled for dude you're gonna come into my chat and say that shit No scopes aren't hitting today. I'm reading dense hive signatures in a facility up ahead. The Vota is gathering a swarm. We might be walking into a trap. That's the gig. We carry the light where no one else can.
don't know if you hear at the moment, Talia, but it's not quite late enough that I'm starting to get delirious yet. Maybe in about like 30 minutes. I burned out the rest of Devota's hiding spots. She's got nowhere to run. A well-crafted snare. I'm just doing my part. It's in your hands now, Guardian. I'm waiting for that. You act like I do. You act like I do when I'm drunk. Yeah, I basically, when I get tired, I just start to act like super drunk. That's basically how it works. But honestly, if the gameplay is too action packed, then I, I probably won't get tired. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. They go to suddenly get exhausted. Oh my god, is that fatherly fish? No way, dude. What are what are you doing here at 4 a.m., dude? You should be asleep. Come on, dude. Surely it's on a different time for you. I actually don't know your time zone. Somehow. After knowing you for 57 years. I was repeat. I was repasting re my CPU cooler to my CPU, and now I can't sleep. Interesting. How's that going with with your PC? Is, is it all set up now? I don't even know. I don't think so. Right? You're still working on it. It, wait, are you? I'm. I honestly, I'm fucking brain dead, dude. I can't tell if you're trolling me right now, or like, or if you're just on your phone trolling me, or like you're actually on. I wait. No, never mind. Shut up. You know what? I, I. It's too late for this shit. Okay, dude. Look, look, look. I. You're being dead. So you are on it? Okay. I don't even know, dude. I thought you were trolling me. You're legit not- so you are on your PC. Have you done any streams on your PC already? You might- I honestly just don't remember. I feel like I saw you do one, but I just- I'm just not sure. Oh, sounds good, dude. Have you been able to try out any of the game? Yeah, you can send me a picture if you want, but have you tried any games and shit just to see how, how well it runs? How many frames you get in Overwatch? They can rest easier now, thanks to you. Couldn't have done it without you, Shaw. Well, maybe. Don't sell yourself short. I see a spark in you, Guardian. Make sure you keep it safe. Don't let it get to your head, okay? This is only the beginning of your story. A solid 50 to 60. Not too bad. Dude, you're... You're you're working with a dinosaur PC here. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, on Overwatch, especially if you're, like, don't have your settings optimized, um... 
And with how bad the game can run in some PCs, that's not too bad, honestly. Probably good. It's probably good for like what you're just trying to go for. I think you said you wanted to just use. Actually, I don't even remember. I know we talked about this. But I think you wanted to mainly use it um, as a streaming PC, but then like also be able to just play stuff if you wanted to, I guess, on there. But not like checking, like a checking. super dedicated PC just to be able to do anything on, right? Checking, checking, checking. Sign, please. All done. Got a 3060, so it holds fairly well. That's good. I have a 2080, but I'm pretty, like, I'm pretty sure, like, the, well, I think if I were to have, like, a, a 180, a 1080, that would be worse than a 3060, but I'm pretty sure 2080 is better than, like, a, a 3060. I don't understand the reason for that, other than, like, 80 better than 60, you know? But, but like, the, the 3000s, like, newer... Just build this shit and call it. Well, I'm proud of you, dude. Building the PC is not, not that you. It's not that hard, but like it's kind of, kind of nerve wracking more than anything, honestly. Just like wondering if it'll actually work. So good job, dude. Congrats. You now have a shared experience with me of building a PC. I was afraid it wasn't going to work when I w was making mine. That was like the worst part for me. Or like just something was going to go wrong. Good luck. Dude, legit, it didn't work at first because I didn't fully push in the ram. Oh no. You probably had a heart attack. Like, why isn't it working? It was like the simplest thing. Hey, kid, looking good. After I saw it was the RAM stuff was easy. Well, that's good. Watch your back out. Dude, Talia's not even here, father. What are you- who are you talking to? Yo, what's up, Mason? How's it going, dude? I- I really wish Mason was watching right now. <laughs> he just heard- <laughs> He just heard me say that. <laughs> Maybe it would finally tempt him to actually talk. Reach Samathun's throne world. Don't you start this. Start what? I don't- I have no idea what you're talking about. It's so nice of the game to guide me through all of this. Is the stream dying? Is it dying? Now I've repasted my cooler, and now I've also my my entire PC. It's fine for you, Father. Okay. Yeah, it seems like the bitrate is fine for me, so I think it's just you you this time, Tilia. Thank God. Now I've repasted my cooler now, and I've also moved my entire new PC to a new case because the old one had bad airflow. So I'd say I've now. Got a lot of PC experience. Yeah, well, that's great, dude. Yeah, I, le I learned a lot about building PCs just from building my, my PC as well. I learned the hard way about having good airflow in your case. And about liquid cooling too versus like fan cooling. I still have fan cooling, but if I were to make a new one, liquid cooling for sure. 
And just uh, making sure things actually fit in your PC case before you buy them. That's a big one because I'm. A, I had to. I had to take apart. I've taken so much off my PC case just for it to work out. You have no idea. It's kind of. It's so scuffed. I had to take out like an entire segment inside, like inside of the case, so that my graphics card would fit. And then I had to take off an entire side panel so the airflow wouldn't be dog shit. So, anyways. I've, got, I've also developed a hard addiction to watching Linus Tech Tips. Oh no. That's not good, dude. Ain't no way you didn't check if you had enough clearance, dude. Look, dude. It. I didn't. I looked, but I. I didn't really look. You know. It looked like it had. An, in that. In fact, it was very close to having enough. Um. Just not quite. You know. It was like. It was like a centimeter. No, not a centimeter. It was a few centimeters. Not le like half of an inch. Like too big. To to not. Like it just didn't fit barely. But it didn't fit, okay? That's that's the moral of the story, okay? And my aim is zero right now, okay? You know what? I just remembered, that's right. I don't even have my contacts in. I usually wear contacts every day, but I ran out of contacts, so I'm playing blind right now. Just want you to know that. You have to watch audio only? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, Talia. Um, weren't you having issues even on my alt account? Like... How do I say this? Like, when we were on my alt account yesterday, you couldn't even watch audio only. Like, all, even the audio was just too much for your internet or, internet or something. Why don't you just get a bigger case, dude? Dude, I never thought of that, father, dude. Dude, what a... Dude, what? You know, what really happened was, I just, um... If you're talking about getting rid of the one I had and then getting a new one, first of all, I liked how the case looked, okay? Listen, look, dude. I liked how it looked, okay? It's white with dark tint, and, you know, it just looked clean. I didn't want another case, okay? And also, I wanted to build my PC that second, dude. I didn't want to have to return something and buy more. I got everything all at once. I was ready to go, dude. I have all issues on your alt account. Oh, look, that's that seems like a skill issue to me. In I'm usually okay when you're streaming here, but it seems like it's really struggling tonight. I don't know. That's weird. Turn the... Oh, dude, I have to talk to Debram again? What the hell? So you're telling me you sacrificed performance and the build because case pretty? Yes. Now you get it. It's all... That's what it's all about, dude. That's what you need to understand. Complete the mission, risk, reward, in the Cosmodrome. Dude, I, I even have RGB, dude. Okay. Dude, I'm a true PC gamer. Um, so where is the mission? In the Cosmodrome, okay. No, dude, 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 dude. Dude, father, dude, bro, dude. How, what was the... What was the inspiration behind the pufferfish emo? That's what I want to know, dude. Like, what'd you tell Mason? Make me a pufferfish. Superconductor is being put to use. I'll leave you to it, but get in over your head. Call me. 
I still owe you a rescue or two. Shaw, over and out. No, pufferfish are great. But like, what about this specific pufferfish? Actually, I think... Actually, I don't know how I should say that. <laughs> Anyways... My aim! Inspiration behind pufferfish emote is literally just a pog emote with a pufferfish. That's literally it. So it's a pog. It's a pogger fish, is what you're telling me, dude? Bro, I can't. I can't even. You worry me when you say it? Oh, I know I do. I know I do. I know. The puffer pog. Hmm. Oh, I'm literally just running away from the objective right now. You guys are distracting me. You guys suck. Glad to see that superconductor is being put to use. I'll leave you to it, but get in over your head. Call me. I still owe you a rescue or two. Shaw, over and out. Let's just not be concerned with what he thought about. You know, the thing is, like, every time I say that, what I'm actually thinking is probably, like, 20 million times not as bad as what you, you think it might possibly be. That's the funny part about it. And every time I say it, like, sounds worse. It's, I make it sound so bad when I say it, but it's really not. <laughs> but that's what makes it funny. The mystery makes it better, you know? Oh my god, father. You're really gonna make me go get water at 4 a.m., dude. Are you for cereal right now? Alright, let me just kill this captain real quick. And then I'll get your damn water. Dude, father, you better hydrate, dude. Are you you better not be out of water right now, dude. Wait, you have dude, father. Holy shit, dude. You better get back in the water. If you've been on your PC this whole time, you can't be out you can't be underwater. Dude, you're gonna drown. You're gonna drown in the air, dude. I imagine you think of some horrible shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> some things are best never said out loud to anybody. Not even myself. <laughs> I got a fishbowl on my head, don't worry. Oh, wait. How do you have a. <laughs> you have a fishbowl on your head? How. How is the water not spilling out, dude? I don't believe this. We both think bad things. Talia, I'm sure you've never thought of a bad thing in your life. You're so innocent. Don't concern yourself with that. Just know I'm in water. Hmm. Well, as long as you don't die and keep funding my Twitch career, I'm I'm all good with that, father. That's all that matters to me. The only other note is, Chasm, have fun. If we're hunting for one of Cade's stashes, those three words are a threat, followed by sarcasm. 
Watch your angles. What sarcasm? Oh. Wait, what? Where the hell am I supposed to? Oh my god, no way. Ain't no way. No. <laughs> After all that. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. That just happened. Gotta keep your Twitch career going, man. Yeah, someone's gotta do it, father. Someone's gotta pay the bills. Yo, what's up, Error? How's it going, dude? Welcome to the, the 4 a.m. stream. You, you didn't see that, Father, okay? Get get your damn fishbowl back on your head. Cloud your vision. You didn't see it, okay? Cade would have liked you. How can you even you hear me right now through that fishbowl? And you're not afraid to take risks. Careful. How come Shadow can have a sugar daddy, but I can't have a sugar mama? Life isn't fair? Hmm. Well, you... <laughs> maybe, maybe if you actually streamed, you would, Tulia. You gotta get your sugar mama. You playing Destiny 2 at 4am and I'm playing Geometry Das at 4am? That's so huge, dude. I'm so happy for you. Your legend is just getting started, Guardian. Maybe someday it'll be your adventures that inspire a new generation of heroes and explorers. I, I gotta play Elden Ring again soon, Father. I've been wanting- to, I'm- right now I'm on the Destiny grind because there's something coming out soon. Anyway, gonna go to bed, so also bye. Thank God. Bye, Error. I'll see you later, dude. Have a have a insanely fantastic, amazing night. There. Keep climbing. Dude, also let me just say I'm gone off of playing mouse and keyboard. Dude, when I first started when I first started playing mouse and keyboard, it felt like I was learning a new language. And I suck at learning new languages, dude. So But now I'm mostly used to it. I'm pretty- I'm actually- I feel like I'm pretty good at mouse and keyboard now. Um, I definitely just need to learn muscle memory, get my muscle memory down and I'll be good. But I feel much more comfortable than I used to, that's for damn sure. You just gotta like- What helped me, I think, is just changing your keybinds to just what feels intuitive, you know? Like, I have a really, really weird keybind setup, but it works for me, okay? I got a mouse keyboard not long ago and tested it out for shits and giggles, but I'm so horrible. Hmm. I What I did that helped me, I think the most, was I, I played Minecraft a lot on mouse and keyboard. And Minecraft is very simple in terms of, like, all the buttons you need to press and everything. So I only really had to learn just, like, the mouse buttons and, like, moving around and aiming properly and just pressing a few other buttons for, like, opening up your, your inventory. And that's about it, really. That helped me a bit as I get used to it. Because also you have to, like, use your button to sprint and, yeah, stuff like that. And just moving around, getting used to WASD. And then you can incorporate some shortcuts in there if you want to switch to things quicker. You want to watch me play Eldering again so bad? Dude, I, I want to play it, dude. I have so many things I want to do. But right now, I, I need to be on the Destiny grind, dude. Because I have, there's something coming out soon. Wait, why did it just kick me out of the mission? Whatever. I did what I needed to do. That's why I'm staying with my precious Xbox control? That's what I said, too. Like, I thought I would never actually convert to mouse and keyboard. Because I was just so good with controller that 
I don't know, I just felt like I'd never be quite as good on mouse and keyboard as controller. And I'm still not there yet, quite frankly. But, um, I can feel the potential there now. I just literally just need to keep practicing. And I just need to get more comfortable. And that just comes with repetition and practice, so. That's why, that's why I've just been playing a lot of mouse and keyboard lately. Cause I, I can definitely feel like I'll get there soon. I just need the practice. But yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about, Father. I've, I felt like a helpless baby, baby too when I first started. It was great. Like, just shoot. Like, everything just felt so weird. Like, even just, like, shooting a weapon. And, like, I think a, a big thing to understand um, when I first started learning is you don't just aim with your mouse. You gotta aim by, like, moving side to side and stuff, too. You sound like an overly motivated teacher. Motiv? I'm so confused. I'm not even trying to be... I'm not even trying to, like, be ultra motivating, but I'm just telling you, like, that's just how it was. That's literally just how it was for me, so. It's so bad, I literally played against bots in Overwatch and you're getting owned. <laughs> yeah, no, I was playing patrols on this game when I first got it. And yeah, I kind of, I was like getting decked in patrols, which is like the easiest activity in the game. So like, I, I just couldn't kill anything. But yeah, you just get used to it after a bit. It take, I like how I got used to it is I just like intermittently would use massive keyboard over the course of like a year or maybe even two years even really. Um, and sometimes I play it more than others. And then just over time, I kind of like, like, say for example, if you just play mouse and keyboard for a bit, like for a day, and it's feeling like kind of rough, but then you go to sleep, like your brain like actually like processes the muscle memory for that a bit overnight, and then like if you wait like a few days or even just the next day, you'll be better. That's what I've noticed with me at least. I'm tempted to maybe do Minecraft or Valorant, maybe, Valorant maybe to sort to get the hang of mouse and keyboard. Um, I mean, you could do Valorant. I wouldn't su suggest Valorant personally because, well, first of all, you don't have like insane frame rate, although on Valorant it might be better than Overwatch. I don't, I think it is better optimized. I'm not sure. Um, but you have to be like insanely precise on Valorant. And I remember when I first started playing mouse and keyboard, uh, I tried Valorant and I got absolutely destroyed. Like, that was not it for me. I think Val- uh, I think Minecraft's a good start, though. It's a nice, easy thing to do. And, um, if you're playing Minecraft on your PC, you literally have to use mouse and keyboard. At least as far as I understand, unless you down like a mod, maybe? Um, you just can't use your controller, so... My system holds fairly good frame rate, but honestly, I could sacrifice graphics for frames. Yeah, that's what I would do. So I need to do Gambit now? Disgusting. I could also do Witch Queen. I mean, even like my system runs really good shit. Like, it runs really high. It, it runs really well. Um, but even I, like, just run really low graphic settings for the most part. Just to get, like, the most optimal frame rate. Because I find it more important. I don't even, like, notice the graphic differences most of the time. Alright, well we got those. Probably will never do them. Real. What other weekly bounties do I need? Oh, I, I need to do Beyond Light. Let's do this.
Do you know much about this game, Father? Dude, you, you should play you should play this game on your PC, dude. You can play it for free. Totally free, dude. Well it is free, but you could try it out for free and then then you kill yourself when you drop like five billion dollars on it later. You've never touched Destiny at all. Dude. You've heard a I'm sure you've heard a lot about it. What what have you heard? I've seen terrible things born out in the darkness. Every moment brings them closer. My future does not begin here. I'm sure you've only heard amazing things about this game. It's time to step beyond the light. Yeah, exactly. Mostly bad things, but recently good things about the story and the events. Um... Yeah, I think the story- I haven't really been paying too much attention to the story, but it has seemed more interesting. Um, the, the game's never really been about the story for me, though. But yeah, the story is- I think it is getting better. More interesting. <laughs> You've heard they're pretty- that's pretty accurate. The DLCs are- yeah, that's pretty accurate. They're pretty okay. Oh, yeah, pretty much. But what- what- What's special about this game, in my opinion, for all its shortcomings, is that there's nothing else really like it. Nothing really gives you the feeling that this game does, in my opinion. It's very unique. Like, if you know, you know. And it's, it's kind of addicting in that sense. It's like you can't go anywhere else to, f to feel your addic addiction of this game. It's how I've, how I've seen it. The great machine. Just like collecting all the guns and shit you want, like craft and like getting all the perfect rolls and making your character look sick as shit. Using all the cool abilities. Send help. There is not much time. You never heard of this game until you accidentally got it a few months ago? I'm I'm a day oneer, okay? I'm a die-hard fan. She's already here. Arrest. Please, anyone. I think Destiny 1 came out like eight years ago at this point, and this game has been out for five years, which is crazy. I bought a secondhand Xbox and it accidentally came with it. Nothing quite like a game addiction, dude. We love game addictions. That's another one. They all scan the same. Empty. Why did the darkness invite us here? You're quiet today. Yeah. I, you want to? You want to know that? Honestly, I don't know if I was more addicted to Destiny or Pokemon Go. That's a good question. I think I'm just an addictive person. I think I just get really addicted to things. I'm either like all in or... Yeah, no, I'm pretty all or nothing. I'm either obsessed with something or I don't want to touch it, basically. That's that's me. No, wait. Where is the signal coming from? I get game addiction so fast and sick of games so fast as well. Maybe you're addicted to something else. Maybe not the game. But just like maybe the novelty of getting good at the game and then like you get good and you're like, okay, okay, this game sucks now, I'm bored. Maybe there's something not maybe not quite like that, but something along those lines. You think Vanguard's been after him since. No wonder he's hiding on a desolate moon. The addiction to being better than someone, yeah. I definitely would agree with that one. You definitely have that addiction. Those fallen patrols are right where we're going. The campsite. They must be after barracks too. Let's hurry. Come here, dude.
Me when you got Hollow Knight? Dude, that's that's what happened to me, father. Um, I didn't get addicted to it originally, though. Um, I just quit. I, w I didn't quit. Like, I knew I was going to come back to it, but I just stopped after, like, 25 minutes because I just kind of got lost. I didn't know where the fuck to go or what to do because I've never played a Metroidvania before. So many games I bought, I, I bought purely to be better than this. I'm like, yeah, I know. It's kind of terrible, honestly. I don't know what's wrong with you. I, I don't know, Talia. Man, I think it's bedtime for me. I got work later today. Take care, Shan. Have a good rest of your stream. Later, dude. All right. Dude, I... I hope you, like... I don't know. I was going to say something really fucked up. Have a good night, dude. Bye, father. <laughs> Let's do some PC gaming together sometime, man. Since I got my video, yeah, sounds good, dude. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I haven't, we haven't played Overwatch in a while, dude. I've just, god, oh, been busy, dude. Like seriously. I've been have to be. I've had to be very strict with my time. That's exactly why I'm streaming Destiny 2 at, at 4 a.m. By the way. But yeah, I'll see you later, dude. All night, Risk of Rain, Spelunky, Fall Guys, Portal 2. Oh, and I don't know if you're still here, Father, but I just thought about the other thing. I, honestly, I, still even played, I haven't even played Overwatch 2 in that minute because, you know, I, I chose Destiny over Overwatch. That's my, this is my new addiction. Well, my returning new addiction, I should say. But Hollow Knight, Risk of Rain, Spelunky, Fall Guys, Portal 2, all games I got to be better. Well, Fall Guys is free. Um, everything else is not. Not only a traitor, but a thief. Now, where is it? Safe from you. No, Jesus, you're supposed to be free of sin. What is wrong with you? You got Spelunky and Fall Guys for free? Oh, so I, I didn't realize Spelunky was free. They are changing you. I I will never play the Lunky, as Mason calls it. No, I might play it someday. We'll see. Maybe Mason will rope me in. General Grievous. Why the fuck did it sound like that? Oh my god. The, the initial, like, K was so violent. <laughs> Sorry, you got a virus? Oh, okay. It all makes sense now. Did you download a fake Zoom? Yeah, I, I wouldn't know anyone who would do that. That's just, that's just so stupid. I almost said something else. <laughs> Five, 
I was very close. Getting late, Talia. My brain is slipping. Don't worry about it. It wasn't. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that. Bad. Oh wait, dude! I forgot to get the water. Oh my god! Poor fatherly fish, dude. I didn't get him his water before. I'll be right back. I'll get it now. Literally nothing. You saying don't worry scares me? Oh, I know. I know. That's what makes it good. Alright, there. I drank a, a ton of water. There we go. Merry Christmas. Now what? I wish I could kill the characters. Like in Halo. And then it's like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? We need immersion. And you know what's even worse? I can just walk right through this guy. Come on. They couldn't just add like a, a mesh to him to make it so I can't walk through him? My immer- look at my- my immersion's gone, look at this. It could be- it's just as bad as me saying I'm drawing something of you. Hmm. Yeah, who would say that? Who- who would draw something of me? That is just weird. Furry drawing to actually nice drawing. Hmm. Then prove it. We expect answers. Hmm. Come to Verix and you will have them. But know that our work here Which one's the bad one? Just begun. I'm still surprised you got me to draw. <laughs> we we don't talk talk to Leah. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I am looking pretty clean. Yo, thank you, cat. I actually am not a huge fan of what my Titan looks like right now. I think it looks pretty good, but I think it could be better. So, but thank you. I actually just reset my Titan. Um, I had it as a male before. Um, but I wanted to make it not a male, so it would look slimmer, so here we are. I thought my male titan was starting to look too goofy for me. That's why I'm doing this, all these missions right now. I don't know what the shoulders those are. Uh, they're huge AF. Yeah, these are um, from Garden of Salvation Raid. If you know what that is. Powered by darkness. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, I actually really like these arms. Um, I do think, like, I don't know. At the moment, I do think my Titan, like, like you said, like, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I think it, maybe it's a little too much at the moment with, combined with everything else. But I think the arms definitely have potential to look really good with other things if you combine it perfectly. Most Warlock slash Hunters starting to dabble in the... Oh, mostly Warlock and Hunters starting to dabble in Titan. Yeah, I'm I'm a Warlock main, honestly. I like my Dawnblade, or it's Daybreak as they call it now. But, um, yeah, I've been playing Titan a bit more recently. I wanted to get more into Titan as well because Titans are pretty cool. I like Shoulder Charge. I like Thunder Crash. I like Hammers. You know... Like, Titans are really strong if you're, like, tryharding, I guess, I feel. And then Warlocks are just all around really good. Hunter, I haven't been playing as much. Um, I only actually just kind of got back into the game again recently. I took a break for a while. But I used to, like, play nonstop. Well of Radiance Vish here for the clan. I can't even see... I can't even see what emotes or emojis those are because it's like the the new iOS update ones, I think. So they're like just like white circles for me. Oh, I just realized oh, I do have my chat on this whole time on the side of the screen. Whoops. It's overlapping with all the, the Destiny things. Almost nobody's here. Yeah, that's because it's 4 a.m. Jesus. We we got we got you we got Pat Strophic we got Talia. What what more could we ask for? You know. What am I trying to do right now? Oh yeah, I remember. I changed some setting in OBS before, so let me change that real quick. I thought I was gonna play like actual music, but then I changed my mind. There we go. Oh, there's Smiley crying. Oh, the holding back tear? The holding back tears? For OBS over Streamlabs? Yeah, I use OBS. Yeah, that one. So that's the one I was thinking of Talia, but I don't think that's the one that they're using. Can you give me more points? Um, you're gonna have to consult Talia on that one. She's the one that gives people all the points back. She's the one you have to bribe. Do you stream as well? Cat. Used to, but wanted to get back into it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I only started streaming like, what, seven months ago at this point? It's been a lot of fun, though. Met a lot of cool people. I've been enjoying, I honestly, like, I've just been enjoying this so much, like, just streaming. It's been a lot of fun. Oh my god, I'm garbage. I stream solo, but don't like streaming when in a party. Yeah, can't find a balance of talking to chat and part. No, that's literally exactly how I feel. I like sometimes I'll have one other person that I'm playing with, like on Minecraft or something, or just whatever we're playing. Um, but they'll get, they'll understand that I'm still gonna talk to chat quite a bit beforehand. You know. Um, but usually I try not to have like too many people like like sometimes I've had like several people and I just like it, Like I just feel like I'm doing something wrong and then like okay guys We got to stop this and then I just like go back to talking by myself because like I don't know I just want to talk with you guys and like 
I like fucking lose brain cells trying to focus on talking to them and like talking to chat at the same time. It's just weird. Yeah, exactly. Too much going on. No, oh, thanks for following, by the way, Alice. Alright, what am I supposed to be doing right now? See, now you're distracting me. Um, the new kill mission. Don't want to be rude ignoring Chan, don't want to be rude ignoring friends? Yeah, exactly. Ex yeah, that's, that's, that's the... Exactly. So you just gotta, like, get rid of one of them, you know. You gotta pick one. And, well, obviously you're gonna... You're gonna pick chat over your friends if you're streaming. When are you gonna post another battle cat? Just ignore both? That's the strat, Talia. What do you mean post another battle cat? What do you mean by that? If you ever stream us, you're gonna just ignore everybody. Wait, did I? Am I? I think I'm hallucinating, Talia. I think I'm hallucinating. I'm starting to lose it. It's too late. I think I just said. <laughs> Did I just say? Did I just say the same thing twice? And like, <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> I had, did I did I imagine myself saying it twice? I don't even know anymore. I'm losing it. When I stream, I usually do it solo. I don't want to ignore either one. Yeah. No, we're all on the same page. What what do you guys like to stream, Alice and Cat? I'm guessing you you at least stream Destiny 2 Cat, right? At least when you used to at least. You didn't say anything twice? Okay, so I literally just imagined it. Oh, you just, I just saw you just got a new PC. That's sick, cat. Built to house those who came to build Exo and to become them. Yeah, I just got a like my first PC so like two world years world. ago at this point, and it was, it was like life changing. I I wanted to deck it out though, so I could do like a lot of shit with it. So I'm still using that same one right now. Very happy with it. I did Overwatch back today, but hated my old PC. Um, so stop, but definitely gonna try Destiny soon. Got it all set up. Well, that's sick. Yeah, I, I gotta say, like, having a, a nice PC is just really nice. I have such a way with words. i been playing Destiny for a year and a half now, and it's life. Oh, you like it that much, even though you just started playing that that short ago, even though it seems like a while ago. I've been playing Destiny since D1 came out, like since day one. I only recent. Well, I'm on and off with Destiny too, basically. I got an issue 8 issue about me, what? What, what the hell is wrong, Jesus?
Oh, you've been playing since D1 as well, Alice? Let's go. Somebody. Thank God. Someone else. Finally. You, what was what was your favorite exotic from D1? Mine was Icebreaker. I was obsessed with that gun. That's the reason I got so obsessed with Destiny 1, actually. Like, I played on the game, like, once, and then I went into patrol, and I saw someone shooting that thing, and I was... I wanted it so badly. Oh, you mean... You mean, um... Wait, what's it called? No Land Beyond? You said No Man's Land. Do you actually have a virus, Jesus? <laughs> no... You, you don't even know the name of your favorite gun, come on. That's just messed up. Wish I knew about Destiny 1 and would've played the shit out of that. Dude, I'm- I'm telling you, D1 was so good. I- I loved D1. D2 is really good too, honestly. Like, I have my, um, complaints about it. Um, and there are- th there are many things about D2 that are better than D1. But there are also things about D1 that I definitely like better than D2. Like, just little things, you know? Probably overall D2 is better, but there's like certain things that just have made Destiny 1 feel more magical to me, I guess. If that makes sense. Yo, thanks for following, Cat. Happy birthday. Hearing about being unable to mantle in- Oh yeah, being unable to mantle in D1. Yeah. That's one thing that is really nice about D2 is being able to mantle, I'll say that much. Also, the FOV and like the frame rate and everything in D2, awesome. Movement in general is just way better in Destiny 2. I will say that much. That's for sure. Prison of Elders was awesome, Alice. I, I, I loved Prison of Elders. I don't know, like all the just activities in D1 were just so cool to me. And like, I feel like the, the art style of the atmosphere and everything just had a lot more character to it. If that makes sense. More gritty and, um, I don't know, but more interesting. It actually, like, it always makes me sad when I look back on it. Because, like, I remember Iron Banner was so cool and, um,. The tower was so cool and just like the music in the tower was so cool and just I just remember I just remember so like vividly like just getting on and like going to go to Xur every weekend. Like Xur was strange coins were cool, Xur was cool. I don't know. Everyone said this rose tinted glasses, but like I'm aware of like the issues that Destiny One had, but I'm just I but I know for a fact that and I'm pointing them out that there were things about D1 that were definitely better than Darkest D2. Like in some really right like obscure ways, I guess. Like that's how that's how I see it at least. Yes. You will not now, oh, most importantly, Cade wasn't dead in D1. I still am pissed that they killed him. I want him back. So badly. Stories of the old tower too, seeing pics and videos of it. And you, you never played Dusty One, Tulia? How dare you? I would do anything to bring back Cade. If if there was a like, you know how like Bungie has all these community events for D two that like barely get completed, like they're like it's not even close to beating them, so they have to make it easier for you to beat them. If they made a community event, like. To bring back Cade, and we had to go like balls to the walls to get him back. Everyone would get on to do it. I guarantee it. Like if we, yeah, I everyone would get on. I would, I'd be grinding. That would honestly, honestly, that would be so hype. Think about that. Think that would be so ridiculously hype. If Bungie, like, if Bungie had, like, a DLC or just, like, an event or something, 
And like they had, you know how like they had the Traveler explode for like that live action event, like a Fortnite event. Like they just had something like that, where it was like some intense hype shit, like trying to like to be able to revive Cade. Oh my god, that'd be so huge. Yeah, I use Asus phase for the whole thing. Yeah, exactly for Cade. I wish. I I wish that was a reality. Where the ace cape too? Yeah, just all the Cade, whatever you call it. I have no voc. I have zero vocabulary. You know what I'm talking about, though. All the Cade stuff. That's a perfect word for it. Oh, oh! There's a little in memory of Cade Six picture in the tower. Yeah, I don't know if I've seen that actually. I'll have to look. I don't want Cade to be in memory though. I want him to be in, in present memory. You know. I don't care. I don't care how much it fucks up the lore or the impact of the story. I don't care. I want Cade back, okay? What's your what are your favorite raids in D2? In in D1 actually for Alice since you know. I think in D1. Hmm. I think King's Fall, at least at the time, was my favorite. Barracks believed Erebus wished to create. I don't really like I like King's Fall in D2, but it doesn't have that same like um impact that it did in d1 like in d1 it felt like so cool it's still cool like in d2 but like in d1 it just felt different i don't know there are others who fled those like me who still worship the great machine i can't stand pong because it took 89 runs to get vexed i will not be them i don't think it took me that long to get vexed honestly in e like in D2, I think I got it literally second try. In D1, I think I got it in like 10 or 20 tries. Atheon can kick rocked. I remember Atheon's epilogue. You don't know what that is, so. I loved Atheon's epilogue. I, I, I love the elemental primaries from D1. Those were so cool. I miss those. That was so sick. I love those. Like, you, like, um, I don't know if you know about this, but in D1, like, for example, um, here, let's pretend this is a raid weapon. It's so, like, you know how obviously you have your kinetic, your, well, this is, these are all kinetic weapons, but like, in D1, like, certain things, like, for example, adept weapons from Trials of Osiris, or weapons from raids they would have an element on them so that like you have an extra bonus just for getting a cool end game weapon but now they don't have that anymore they i need they even removed that like towards the end of um destiny one for the most part but i always thought it was really cool 
I don't even really know why. I think it kind of just like unbalanced the game, I guess. But I thought it was cool. It made the weapons feel more unique. More interesting. Like that's that was what's so sick about Fatebringer. Oh my god. Like Fatebringer? You know Fatebringer from Vault of Glass, obviously, in D2. Um like, you know how it's kinetic now? In in Destiny 1, it used to be Arc. Like, originally, it was Arc. So it would just have, like, Arc explosions. Like, you'd have, you'd have Firefly on it, and it would have Arc explosions. It would, like, chain. It was just so... It was so much fun. The, the most busted la loadout of all time was Fatebringer, Black Hammer, and then Gallarhorn. Oh my god, that was the nuttiest loadout ever. I swear to god. Black. So you know about you know about Whisper of the Worm, like the the sniper rifle that returns ammo, like from your reserves. Once if you get three headshots in a row. Well, they had that was this was it's actually a spinoff from an actual weapon. Um, from De oh, Destiny 1 Raid from Crow to Zen. Which, uh, it was called the Black Hammer. Which was a special weapon, by the way, not a power weapon. And... It... It did the same exact thing, where it would return your ammo after landing three headshots in a row. And it was a legendary, not an exotic, keep in mind. And... You didn't have- it didn't take from your reserves, you just- if you hit all your headshots consistently, you had infinite ammo. It was so busted. It was so good. Oh my god. It was so disgusting. It was genuinely the most disgusting thing of all time. To have, like, Fatebringer with Ark, and Firefly, and, um, Outlaw, and then Black Hammer, and then Galahorn. It was literally the god loadout. That was that was peak destiny. Not at, maybe not actually, but peak destiny loadout. That's for sure. Perhaps a barter is warranted. If so, if Talia is still here, she's probably like this guy is a nerd. I haven't been able to talk to um, actual destiny nerds lately. This my. The other people who don't know anything about this game. They don't know what I've been through. I'm out here listening to Destiny Podcast at work. <laughs> what well like the um I forget what it's called. I think Fallout plays usually. Fallout plays usually, um, does one with, like, the devs or something, right? Might be that one. Missing the stories I listen to? I don't know what that one is. They go deep in the lore. I've never gotten that deep into the lore, honestly. Just a, it's really time consuming. I mean, yeah, that's what this game's all about is the time consumption, but um, I don't know. I put enough hours into grinding loot. I don't, I don't know too much about the lore, quite frankly. For as long as I've played this game, I do know a bit, but like, I've never like he dove heavily into the lore. Like two hour long podcast episode one through seven kind of kind of stuff. It's addicting. Yeah, I feel like once you get into it, it's addicting. It's like it's almost like um, watching a show on Netflix. Like you just start to binge all the information and get the behind the scenes of the game, like the lore of the game. 
That's, pro that's why I haven't started, because I know if I start, I'm not going to stop. Well, that's interesting. Oh my god, it's almost 5 a.m. Yeah, I gotta go soon. I was... I was planning on only... I knew, I knew it was gonna go past 5, but... I always plan on like ending around 4.30, but you know, here we are. Anyways. What's the, the, the red stuff called from D1? Um, it's not Steva, it's Siva. Like, S-I-V-A, I believe. The stuff on Outbreak Perfected. Yeah, that's that stuff was really cool. Especially with, like, um, Wrath the Machine. I think that's gonna be the third Dark subclass. I don't know about that, quite frankly. I mean, maybe. Cause we're getting that, uh, whatever that new one is with, uh, Lightfall. I don't even know what it's called. But I, I don't know, I don't feel like we wouldn't get SIVA as a... As a subclass, but maybe. I definitely see it as possible, but I don't think it's very likely. Just off of feeling more than any logic, really. Just based on, like, the design of SIVA, I just don't think it would go too well as a... Um, as a super. That's just my opinion, though. In terms of, like, the way Bungie likes to do things. That's how I see it, but that's just me. Yeah, Wrath the Machine was really good. Definitely would like for them to bring it back. Yeah, they definitely will bring back more D1 raids. I hope they bring back all of them eventually. I hope they bring back the D1 tower too. Thank you, Jesus. That one was a huge brig boss. Looked cool AF. Um, what am I? Th are you talking about like the, the Zamboni? My phone turned off, it wouldn't turn on again. Oh no, rest in peace, Sylvia. You didn't hear the entire conversation we had then. Tragic. Thank god you didn't hear me absolutely nerd out over Destiny. With the servitor inside it? Oh wait a minute. I think that is... Yeah, I'll, I'll pull it up right now. She said she wanted to express herself, so I gave her a thumbs up. Are you talking about this thing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think this is something else. I think you're talking about something. I think I'm... Let me Google it. And I think I'm glad I didn't look to Leah. I, I think you would have found the what we were talking about very insightful, quite frankly. I don't remember Brig Boss. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about.
Oh, he here's what we gotta do, Talia. We gotta have the the daytime and nighttime. Um, you know, people. I usually stream during the day, so like there's no one here during night. So now we just gotta build up from build from the ground up again. And which one are you? You're both. Your your day and night. Only encounters you get to drive tanks. Saying that is depressing, <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> One of the encounters you get to drive tanks on rows in the last city. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. <laughs> I'm here no matter what time you just dream like this motherfucker. Thank you, Talia. You're so thoughtful, you know, just to be here for me always. Making me think the raid was a fever dream. <laughs> Alright, well, um, I don't know. I don't know. But I do gotta go. It is 503 OMG. But if you do find it, let me know next time. I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow or if you're in the Discord or something. We'll see. You're gonna go that's how that's what happens to me. <laughs> I'll go crazy. I'll go crazy looking for something. Yeah, just let me know. All right. I'm going to I'm going to go now. Is, it, is there anyone live that I could raid? There's no way. You literally watched it last week. No. I could raid squeaks. I'm sure he'll appreciate a two-person stream. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Nice to meet you. Raid a hot tub streamer? Oh, that's a great idea. That's a great idea that I won't do. All right, I'm gonna go have a good night slash day slash Merry Christmas. All right, goodbye guys.